so finally the most awaited month of this entire year 2019 is finally here and yes it was not january when you took those new year resolutions it's this coming month of april so why do i say like that that it's the most important month of the year because most of the important retrogressions are happening during this time and yes september and october are also very important and to some extent november first week or you could say the entire month of october but as of now if you want to talk of the current scenario we all know that mercury has been retrograde and on end of march it is turning direct so mercury's direct motion will just kick off when april starts so that means now the ideas which we wanted to implement always will be implemented through the sign of aquarius which is through collectivism through the efforts of the society through the efforts of those people who think about the larger interest of uh, things in life rather than the shortcomings and also during april what is happening jupiter is entering the sign of sagittarius as just april kicks in and on 10th it is going retrograde so we will discuss about all this and it will be with saturn and ketu also okay so i have made different videos on jupiter's gandanta transit jupiter's transit with saturn and ketu in sagittarius please watch them and towards the first week of april i will make the video on jupiter's retrogression from scor uh, sagittarius back to scorpio all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere down and if you want a consultation from me regarding how this month will be for you then you could go to my website to book a reading you will find the link down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what is april basically april in short is the result of all the things that you are planning to do but somehow you are not doing or you felt that things did not change so now april is actually the new year month in my opinion not because it's the vedic new year or uh, sun enters the sign of exaltation not because of that the reason is because now you will actually feel that a new year has started for you in january you might not have felt it very much but now as april kicks in you will feel that so many new things are happening in your life april is the time when you will get rid of old projects which you will either throw off or you will start something new that will happen in april and april is also the month where you will come to know your limits and during april you will also come to know what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses to what extent is something your strength and to what extent is it not that you will come to know in april during april you will also come to know to what extent does winning matter in life is it more important to win the uh, win the race or to run the race so sometimes we may become so much obsessed with running the ra- uh, about winning the race that we may forget sometimes why at all we started running the race so april will give you a moment to sit and think about why life is the way it is or why do you think life should be the way you think it should be everybody has a particular pattern of how they imagine things to be or how you want things to be rather so you will be forced to inter introspect why have you created that model inside you what if the model changes what if it's not the way you think things will work out for you so during april what is happening saturn also is turning retrograde by the end of april jupiter also as i said from 10th so now when these two planets because they are uh, very slow moving planets so when they turn retrograde simultaneously 
that month is very important so jupiter saturn in transit shows those areas which we need to work for that year which require consistently larger efforts mercury gets retrograde very often so mercury at times shows things which need quick fixes not necessarily fast but those things which you can fix very quickly but jupiter saturn represents those things which you need to focus a lot without your focus without a vision jupiter is all about vision i will do this i will do that that's jupiter and what i did this and i am doing this that's saturn <laughs> so jupiter and saturn they are both getting retrograde so this month is very important and the big thing is they are conjunct so when they are conjunct what happens is you get a realistic idea about your bloated expectations but the good thing is you may feel that the expectations although they are not being met the way they are met but you will feel that whatever is working let it work and whatever i can do from my side let me do that so april is the time when you should have this mantra with you which is the mantra do whatever you can <laughs> let me do what i can and let me leave the rest to god and also april will give you this realization that it is important for you to not only win the race it's very important that you enjoy the journey many times people they obsess about achievements in life so they say that achievements are like the milestones but they forget that milestones are just parts of the same journey which they are running so if you take a car and go from one city to the other you are all the time traveling the only thing is when you see a town on the way you are convinced that you are traveling right but if you just think that unless you see the town you will not be happy then the rest of the journey you will still be miserable because the town will come only once it will not come all the time so that is why the month of april is very important and apart from that mercury venus will be conjunct for a considerable amount of days so that is the time when you could feel that things are moving in a particular direction regarding the houses which jupiter mercury rules in your chart and apart from that jupiter uh, jupiter will be conjunct with ketu also and saturn also so when ketu's conjunction is there you could be forced to introspect regarding the areas of achievements in life so that is why i said that you need to learn to enjoy running the race rather than winning the first prize and also they say pluto is also there in sagittarius about which i will not discuss much here because that's uh, that's way too detailed about that conjunction of course but indeed it is the new year month i would say all right and at the end sun will enter by 15th of april into its sign of exaltation and when sun enters exaltation mesh rashi then the the overall energy of the the masculine energy of the universe masculine energy means your ability to make change and do things progressively in this world that will be very positive you will feel that suddenly the houses which house house which sun rules in your chart because sun rules only one house they will become very lively and you will feel extraordinarily positive regarding those houses regarding that house again so that is my interpretation of the month of april i hope you utilize this month properly and there will be many changes many shifts all right and to some extent the month of october will be a bit similar like it is in april because that time also some similar things are happening but in a different direction all right so now if you are 
thinking to do something and you are unable to do it then it could happen that you get a chance to re-implement it somewhere in october okay so take a note of this month it's a very important month it's the month of changes and new beginnings and endings okay so there you go if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about the month of april and if you want a reading from me regarding this month then you could go to my website down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in april bye bye